shocking video from D.C. today as protesters climbing the wall of the Capitol building. And you could hear people cheering them on in the background as they were trying to actually halt the certification results of the election. Now, protesters climbing the scaffolding to around the building, waving flags. The crowd was actually seen wrapped around the building. I mean, when you saw it from a wide angle, it was really incredible to see how many people made it up there. They even pushed through those police barricades. And then the protesters made their way inside the building. Officers overrun as they made their way to the House chambers, chanting and waving those flags, demanding the results of the presidential election be overturned. But breaking news right now, the Senate just rejected the Arizona's uh, objection there. So that is something new right now. We'll get to that in a moment. Protesters even getting inside the offices of lawmakers. This is Nancy Pelosi's desk. You can see that man there with his foot on her desk. Uh, he's actually seen later taking an envelope out of there as well, saying he left a quarter for her on her desk. We're speaking with an upstate woman who's in D.C. right now. Her group of friends took part in the Save America March, but tell us they were not at the Capitol building and never saw the fallout that ensued. Fox Carolina's Jarvis Robertson joins us live in Greenville with more on what they experienced in D.C. today. Well, Cody Victoria, today's news cycle has been one that has been shocking and also surprising. A lot of eyes certainly glued to their phones and television screens. Now, I spoke with a group of friends, one person in particular right here from the upstate who says that her experience is not what everyone else is seeing. January 6, 2021 will be a day remembered in history. Some have called Wednesday's actions a coup attempt and others see it as a First Amendment right. A group of friends right here in the upstate traveled to Washington, D.C. for the Save America March. I spoke with Kayla Chastain about her experience, which she says was a good one. Standing there talking with everybody, truly, we had such a welcoming environment. Everybody was so friendly. People were being very outreaching and sociable and lifting others up. It was singing. There was praying. She told me they did not witness rioters storming the Capitol building. However, when news of the day broke, Kayla and her friends started getting calls and text messages, making sure they were okay. From what I saw today, um, I saw a fear of patriotism. I haven't seen in the street before that I was proud of the parts that I saw that were very positive and uplifting. I asked Kayla about her thoughts of the Capitol building falling under security breach. She feels the riots are overshadowing the march, which she describes as a welcoming experience. I feel like as Americans, we have freedom of speech and to be able respectfully to, you know, stand up for our country or say what we want to say. Um, and I just hope that people in a respectful manner were heard and that their opinions were valued. No, I did speak with Kayla around 7.30 this evening. At that point, her and her friends had stopped for dinner, but she did tell me they are on the road on their way back here to the upstate. Reporting live in Greenville tonight, I'm Jarvis Robertson, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.